Hey guys, we're a uh, Project Huracan day two, if you would. So in question of the day is, how do I make my new speaker fit in that hole? Funny you should ask, we're gonna show you. So let's go see what Sage is doing and we'll kind of give you a rundown here. Yo, yo, yo. What up? What up? What's we got cooking? Making speaker adapters for the Lambo. The magic adapter that puts new speakers in old speaker holes. <laughs> it's just silly. Um. So. Yeah, so I just made a copy of the overall of the uh, speaker. And yes. then I'm gonna, on the drill press, I'm gonna drill my holes through down so this will actually mount. And then I'll, from this, I'll figure out my thickness, what material I'm gonna use, and hole and all that stuff to fit the 8 inch Utopia M mid bass driver in there. Yep, and this is factory 8 inch, right? Yeah, it's factory yeah. 8 inch driver. So we'll have adapters available for these four eight inch to eight inch and also eight inch to six and a half inch on the website. So yes, hopefully we by the time we're done, we'll uh, have some shots of those and stuff. So yeah. on camera, don't say what on camera, <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> don't say that on camera. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about how we build these speaker adapters, um, here. And we're actually working on the Lamborghini, 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 Lamborghini <laughs> hurricane. No, Huracan. <laughs> um, eight inch speaker in the door. We're putting Utopia um, eight inch mid bases in the door. Um, and obviously you can't just unbolt the factory eight and screw a new eight inch in there because it's a special thickness, uh, mounting, hardware, all that kind of stuff. So we have to basically manufacture one of these to house our new speaker so that's our magic new speaker holder and old speaker location yeah exactly so <laughs> we have factory speaker so the first step in creating a adapter we have to fig we have to basically get this outside shape and our mounting holes right so what we do is Take quarter inch. I already did this off camera. I'm not sure no. you guys exactly how this is done. <laughs> you can't have all the tricks. But basically, put tape on the factory speaker, and then I use CA glue, and I glue it down to quarter inch MDF, and then I have this super amazing four bearing, super router bit for Mobile Solutions, and. Basically what happens is this goes down in the router table. It's so tall with a lot of bearings and I'm having a hard time holding this. You can actually set this so the bearing rides on the factory speaker and then it cuts our base plate MDF out as it's spinning, which yes. is super dope. Some of that process too, taping that up and CA gluing that, I think is in the tail end of a time lapse just prior to this. Okay. So they'll see some of that. So, so you cut the outer shape and then when it's still together before you pull it apart put it in your drill press you find a uh, drill bit that's the same exact size as the factory hole and you can punch it through or use a drill press and then you drill down and you have your holes exactly the way the factory speaker is yeah so, don't and don't do what scott does i like to separate those and go oh shit my holes yeah. and you will never line that back up because of the spacer so yeah so now we have a basic um, base plate of the factory speaker, and then we actually cut this hole out with another template that we have. Um, so now we have the basis, basically the shape. So that's one part. And then we have to determine, okay, how thick 
you can see that this is pretty thick. It's about an inch and a half thick, right? From the underneath the foam to the back mounting point is an inch and a half thick. So we use plastic. We use expanded PVC to make these adapters. Um, so basically what we do is we don't have inch and a half thick material. We have half inch thick material we keep in stock. So basically we're gonna stack three pieces together and we're gonna do them one at a time and I'm gonna show you guys right now how this is done. But I'm gonna router this out first and then I'm gonna CA, scuff and CA glue this to the next layer and the next layer and then I'm gonna have a inch and a half thick version of this. And if you could, just for people that don't know, explain why the height is important. Like, why is it good to get that speaker manifolded back to the door panel? Because, yeah, well, you just said it, Well, basically. Yeah. So, we want to bring the speaker. We don't want to mount the speaker all the way back in the door and leave a huge gap between the, the speaker mounting and the door panel. We actually want to... You can see this foam here from factory. That actually fits right to the factory door panel yeah so the sound from the front of the driver comes out of the door it doesn't play into the door panel yeah we just play efficiency games yeah so you get it you get a better response you don't have weird acoustics happening with it yeah with and it the, bouncing around inside the door and the factory does really well with that a lot of people just negate that so yeah, that's why it's important to replicate a, they, it. i mean you, there's a foam seal in the front there's a foam seal in the back it's yeah. not just screwed to the door yeah you believe know, it they, or not they do think about that shit yeah, they think you know? about that stuff so <laughs> we basically want to do you know, as good or better job than they did. Yeah. Um, so we just have the benefit of playing with different materials where they get a little more limited. So we're going to stack this up. We're going to actually countersink the woofer back down into this location a little bit. And I have to do some, some trickery because actually the driver, when it sits in here, the Utopia driver covers the hardware hole. So we're going to do some counter. I use a countersink, a three eighths countersink. It helps basically you know, drill down into the plastic so I can put my new hardware that I, I picked out. It's an M5, uh, about an inch and a quarter long, that's going to bolt back into the factory location. Hand-picked by Sage Hand Weir. Picked. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm fucking, dude. Um, yeah, so the factory hardware is a larger head, and it's too short because it was designed to go through this really thin, like, I don't even know, 3 16th inch thick. We're going to be going through like a... At least an inch of plastic, maybe seven eighths inch. Plus, ours is going to have a lot more power handling, a lot more movement. That's where the stability of our different materials come into play. You know? So, see, basically, I pre cut these squares, fits on there. This is the top where the connector is. It says con, not can. <laughs> so, that's the connector. So, that's where it goes. So, we'll use a, a template tape, another awesome material that we have a tool that we have so we just put some tape on here all the way around you don't want to go og and brad nail them yeah that's what we <laughs> used to do back in the day brad he's like what we did back in the day stays back in the day yeah or uh <laughs> spray glue that's crazy that's if you're really bougie you spray glued them yeah <laughs> Back in the day, we used to just cut the speaker out with a jigsaw. <laughs> Believe it or not, some people still do it today. Yeah, I've done it yeah. before I learned. <laughs> so, Different strokes for different folks, I guess. Yeah, so this is boring, but we're going to pull this tape off of here. This is a really thin, paper-thin, double-sided tape that's inexpensive. So I'm going to stick that right here on the uh, plastic. Now it's stuck. It won't come off, which is awesome. I'm going to take my... Sorry, I thought you were going this okay, way. So I'm going to drill a <laughs> pilot hole right into it. Got my spiral flush trim bit set up in the table. So, turn on the router. this works is there's actually a bearing that spins right on the top of the bit 
and that rides on our template and then the bit spins around and cuts the plastic <clears throat> so now i'm going to cut the uh inside <laughs> proper drill bit we have that fits the holes perfectly we're gonna put that in our drill press you always want to use a drill press doing it by hand you will not it won't line up again ever and Chuck is gone Chuck don't like to hang out go. got a funny story to tell you about Sage and Chuck Now you're good. All right, so now I have all three layers basically bonded together and routered out. Um, I got my holes drilled in the first piece. Now I'm going to go back to the drill press and drill all the way through this adapter. I'm going to do that now. Yeah. So now I have completely drilled through and then so on this adapter on this adapter we have remember the speaker sits over the top of these holes and I actually want to rabbit this down in here so that the speaker the front of the speaker mounting is actually the same height as this adapter because we have plenty of depth in this door but I want my speaker to be flat with this adapter like basically flush with this adapter so then we can go back later on and put a foam ring around it to seal back to the door um, my hardware as you can see has to be sunken sunken down into the into the adapter like that so we're actually going to do like a kind of a two-step process here because when I rabbit this, when I rabbit this, I actually have it set up here for the speaker. When I rabbit this, it's actually gonna, the rabbit's gonna go over this speaker or over this hole right here. And if I don't pre countersink this, I won't be able to countersink on that, that edge there. So I'll kind of show you that. It's, you know, weird things you have to think about when you're building something. And where's my countersink go? So we're going to... You don't have to think when you build. No. <laughs> and all these little things you learn as you're building stuff over and over and over again. So. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't have videos when we first started doing this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of have to like think out the whole thing. It'd have been start, pretty... to start to end before you even start it. Could have done like caveman adapters 15 years ago. Yeah. So, all right. So... Here it is, and we're going to, this is cool, this countersink, I really like it because it actually has a, you can basically judge how deep you're going. So I can turn this on and I need to raise the bed. Bring this all the way up, right about there. So I can come in and I can, I can, I can literally sink it down right to that line, which is comfortable. I think it's below a quarter inch. I might want to go a little bit more. head of the screw will fit down in there it'll basically be countersunk and be able to come out the other side so 
now I have this this is a um, 5 8 rabbit is basically what I need to have for the speakers mounting flange to fit in there um, and I have it set a quarter inch high which is the thickness of the driver so I'm going to basically sit this get some of these plastic shavings out of here I'm going to sit this on the router table and basically what this I'll show you guys what this does really cool. basically took 5 eighths inch out a quarter inch down all the way around so now the driver can fit in there and it'll sit flush with the top of this adapter all right we're good okay so now I have the rabbit done for the driver to sit down in there and now I need to make these these countersink holes a little bit deeper because I don't think the hardware is gonna hardware is gonna reach to the other side see it needs to go deeper so I can grab grab the door so I'm going to go ahead and make these deeper. I got my seat. I pre-did it. See how that, that hole is a little bit on the high side and a little bit in the rabbit. So if I didn't pre-do that, there's no way I could line that back up again. You're so smart. So then I can come back to here and I can bury that right to that line right there. I think that's a good. Blow that out. <laughs> so she said. Try to get that plastic out of there, and then I can test fit my hardware. I'm happy with that. It's a thread, so it's gonna it's gonna bite into the door, and, and it'll pull down a little bit through this plastic. That's cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna go around, and I'm gonna do that to all. So, make sure I get all this out of there. Clean all that out. Okay, cool. Awesome. So now we have, we turned this factory speaker. We made a base template of our overall shape and holes. And then we stacked up material to make it the thickness that we wanted. Um, three layers of half inch expanded PVC, um, all CA glued together, and we have mounting points for our new M5 hardware that'll fit right in here, mount to the door, and then the speaker can sit over and we can mount the speaker to here. So now I can show you guys what it looks like in the car. Let's do it. All right, so now we're here, made the adapter. You guys saw how that was done, and I'm gonna show you basically how it mounts up to the vehicle. Um, this is the the factory opening in the door you know there's threaded inserts for M5 hardware already there from factory we have our longer stainless M5 hardware we're basically going to use a just an allen allen socket and we're going to line that up to the factory location and it should just since we use the drill press and everything everything will line line up if you don't use a drill press it probably won't line up and there are some tricks through this process too you know showing you guys these adapters we do treat most of these doors so that's kind of an insulating ring between the adapter and the door panel like if you don't do treatment you want to make sure you at least do some kind of gasket tape between these you want something to break up the hard surfaces you know anything to address the vibrations yeah this is yeah. this I'm is just, just showing show you guys how it mounts to the car but I'm not We'll actually treat this door and yeah. all that fun stuff. It'll be, it'll be, you know. You don't oh, ever want to do plastic to metal or metal to metal or anything like that. You always want to put a gasket in between things. And like so. we talked about earlier, even the factory does that. They do a really good job of that in most applications. So now this is mounted securely to the door, factory mounting points. We didn't cut, drill, nothing to the vehicle. And 
Let me grab this. We have this super amazing, one of our, our, our favorite mid bass driver. Um, Utopia M Focal 8 inch mid bass. And I'm not going to mount this completely in the door yet because we're not at that point in this project. But you can see this, this driver fits right here in the door. Sits flush with the the front of the adapter, do our mounting hardware, and then we can put a gasket around this and seal it to the door panel. Yep. So that's how it's done. Super cool. And we also, this is just an example of one of the adapters we do. Um, this one's particularly made out of um, expanded PVC. We also use HDPE for some of the adapters, depending on application, how thick they need to be. Um, so we kind of use a professional judgment on that one. Yeah, you know, exactly. every every vehicle is going to use different materials, and we just use what we feel is best. Yeah, because you know, just together, stacked together in three pieces is very rigid, dead. You know, mm -hmm. it, it works properly. To put together HDPE, it would all have to be screwed together in silicone because you really can't glue together HDPE. Yeah. So HDPE is actually what super glue bottles are made out of. So nothing really sticks to it. <laughs> you can yeah. imagine that. So. <laughs> So, super but cool. Yeah, that's what's going on here. We've got these uh, adapters. I have to make the other one, and then we're gonna, you know, do some treatment and stuff on this car. And I'm pretty sure we'll show you that guy's. Yeah. Show you that guy's stuff later. Yeah. And I'm not gonna tell you in what video number, project number, day number. I got yelled at in the last video yeah, series. So. Anyway. <laughs> so awesome. But we're gonna get back to it again. We just wanted to kind of let you in behind the scenes. You know, we figured cool car, badass speakers, and super cool adapter. So you guys stay with us. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, what are we doing? Okay, so <laughs> speaker adapters are both cut out for the driver and passenger door. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and remove my adapter. Um, I just bolted it up here to make sure it fits. Door panel fits on. I put the door panel back on to make sure the adapter fits and then I took masking half inch masks, masking tape and I ran it around the uh, the edge of the door panel. It's trying to one up my treatment game. So I know <laughs> not to run treatment past this this line. You don't like don't, to see treatment hanging out your doors? I don't want treatment hanging outside my doors. It's like toilet paper hanging off your foot yeah, when like you come out. It's like walking into the bathroom with toilet paper in your shoe. <laughs> so we're gonna um, leave the treatment inside the uh, door panel. Um, I'm gonna have to remove the power window motor This access panel looks like it just pops right out So I'm gonna treat the inside of the door and then I'm gonna treat this The front side of the door here. So inner and outer is our normal normal treatment process And we um, touch the back of the door panel where necessary. Yeah, and we'll treat the back of the door panel where necessary like Scott says and We don't go all stethoscope listening <laughs> I'm not Stethoscoping this one <laughs> This is probably a airbag sensor or something, so we're gonna leave that alone, mounted where it needs to be. Um, remove all this and go ahead and treat everything. Make sure we cut around where these clips, all these clips fit. So we want the door back, panel to go back on like factory. So that's what I'm gonna get starting starting on. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna get starting on. I'm going in. I'm going in.
All right, guys, so we're gonna pick up where Sage left off here. He got the um, complete door treated. He got the outside done, the inside done. Our speaker adapters are done. So we're gonna run the speaker wire into the door for the uh, Utopia M8s. Uh, get our adapter mounted, speaker mounted, and we're gonna button these doors up, so. Super fast YouTube mode. <laughs> we got to um, show you. Got the doors all back on the Lambo. Uh, eights are housed where they're going. Everything came out perfect. Uh, Sage treated the doors. He got the adapters all done. The adapters fit flawless, which was really nice. Good job, Sage. Um, yeah, everything was really good. Doors went back on. Everything looks good. Eights are in their new homes. So we're going to keep on moving this gun. Uh, stay with us. This will be a few video series and get it running. So. Y'all stay with us.